I remember quitting my job and going all in on this tax business, and it was one of the scariest things I ever had to do. The very first time I sat in my new office as a business owner, I put a sign up front that said tax preparation. And a few hours later, I got my first call. It was my wife asking how many clients had called so far. When I said zero, she was a little bit nervous saying, I don't know if this is gonna work out. But nonetheless, I had already made the decision that this was the route I wanted to go. To make things more intense, a couple weeks later, my wife found out that we were expecting our first daughter. And she said, Hey, right now, I'm supporting the family, but nine months from now, when we have our baby, if this business is not working out, you're gonna have to go back and find a job. That added a lot more pressure, but it also motivated me to work even harder. So I was actively cold calling clients, going door knocking, just trying to do what I could to survive because I went from a salary with six figures to a salary with zero figures. I had no income, and we were only just surviving off my wife's paychecks and the little to no savings that we had in our bank account. Fortunately, years later, things have worked out and the business has grown. I've been very blessed to have my wife and now two daughters at home who have supported me through it all, and I do this for them. Part of what makes me who I am today is where I grew up. I was born and raised in Watsonville, California, a small, predominantly Hispanic community near the Central Coast. It's a fairly low-income community, and there aren't many options or opportunities besides working in agriculture, mainly the strawberry fields. Growing up, seeing three families living inside one house, struggling to get by, was very eye-opening, and I knew I wanted more, but after high school, I didn't know what I wanted to be. After graduation, I had the chance to work with my mom as an escrow assistant for a title company. I had the opportunity to experience working in the office and to learn about real estate. But unfortunately, the timing was bad. This was back in 2007, 2008, when people started to lose their homes in foreclosure. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. We're red everywhere, essentially, down by four, five percent. We're down over 16 percent. Dow, at the same time, has fallen about 18 percent. Fortunately, I met the CPA who worked at the title company, and she talked to me about how she felt that she had a stable and secure job, despite the fact that we were in a recession. So I did some research and I found the accounting industry to be interesting and I felt that it would make a fulfilling career. I interviewed a few more CPAs, which made me even more excited about this career path. And so I decided to move from my hometown to Bakersfield to pursue a degree in accounting. It took me about four years but I finally graduated from California State University Bakersfield with a degree in business and a concentration in accounting. I graduated with honors and received the summa cum laude award, the highest distinction at the university level. It wasn't easy, but it was a great experience and I learned a lot about accounting and finances. Initially, I started off as a solo tax practitioner. I was doing everything from filing the tax returns to customer service to even being a janitor. I wore a lot of different hats in the beginning, but eight years later, we've grown the firm from just myself to now 12 team members. And our team is focused on working towards the vision and the mission of helping small business owners save money in taxes. So far, we've done just that in only five years, we've been able to help business owners save over $37 million in taxes. We've made great strides, but we're just getting started. We want to make Sandoval Tax CPAs the CPA firm of choice at a national level, and we believe that it can be done. With enough dedication and hard work, we will take our mission around the country. Our mission of improving the financial condition of small business owners by educating them on the value of tax planning and CFO services.